Hey everybody, Pat here. And in this video, I wanna walk you through a concept called spin tax inside of Upticks. For those of you that know what it is, you know you know that it's a kind of a powerful feature that you can use for email to rotate a certain verbiage, right? If you don't know what it is, basically what it's doing, and I'll show you this, it's under snippets. And uh, you can order order things in, in folders, right? And, and you can make what are called snippet groups. And the way I use it inside of Upticks is think of a flow of an email, right? Now let's say each line, all right? First of all, you get your subject, you got your greeting, you get a personalization, purpose, excuse, introduction, however you want the flow of your email to go. Then what I do is we write multiple variations of those. Okay, so, you know, channel partner greeting one, hope you're having you know, a great day of the week. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful day of the week. So we're writing different variations of essentially the same line of an email. And what we do in the email template, and I'll show you this next, is we reference this entire snippet group. And what Uptix will do is it'll rotate between the different variations of each line. So you just need to make sure that the flow of your email and the tone all, all sounds right but Uptix will randomize which line it grabs. Okay, so this can help with email deliverability. You actually can do the same thing uh, under for subject lines too. So I, I referenced this snippet group for subject lines. Okay, when I'm using repeatable subject lines. Okay, all right, so that's, that's, that's important. Uh, for higher ticket, colder outreach and stuff like that, always use a custom subject line. But if you're doing something that's a little bit lower ticket and you're, you're automating things or something like that, and you're trying to scale up a campaign of some sort, you can randomize the subject line. Now you might be wondering, okay, how do you check the effectiveness and stuff like that of it? And you just wanna pay attention to the overall open rate. So it's not a big deal. All right, let me show you what uh, uh, an email looks like with, um, with a snippet group. Uh, reference. So basically you build your email template, which then gets put into a sequence, correct? All right. So you can see here, um, what I did for the subject line, all right, is you go and you click the little icon there and you go to snippet groups. And I always like to organize my, uh, my snippet groups, right? So, uh, channel partner zero, you know, subject line. So I just organize it zero, one, two, three, four, five with, with the flow that I want my email to go. All right, so you just reference that whole snippet group and the system will take care of rotating those. And then the same thing for the templates, right? So, um, you know, this one's a B test, so I'm testing different variations, but my A test has, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. All right, so you just insert these and you always wanna make sure to send yourself a test. I always make sure to, to do a test campaign uh, on myself. So I'll, I'll, I'll spark up a sequence and I have a list of emails with just myself in it. And then I launch the campaign and make sure everything's coming through. Invariably, I, I usually have some changes to some verbiage and, and stuff like that, right? Um, so, but that's the overall concept. It's just gonna rotate between the different um, lines in those snippet groups. And it, it just helps with, with deliverability, all right? So um, let me show you here, kind of same thing. This is my A test, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the way I do it. Just keep it nice and organized. And when you have these built uh, once, you can you can clone them and then uh, move them to separate folders inside inside the snippet group. So if I'm launching one campaign, let's just say I've done it for you know, channel partners or whatever, uh, you can hit the clone, copy button here. And when you once you do that, then you can just move it to a different folder. So it copies everything inside, and then you just make tweaks and, and stuff like that. All right. So I hope this uh, little snippet group and spin tax feature, you know, kind of helps out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comment below. Happy to help. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks.